and welcome to Nathan Bell's podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Today, Nathan would like to talk about being superficial. Yeah, well, I do really think we live in a very superficial society. Um, I, think, um, I think we're trying to move away from this, but I think a society, um, especially since it's organised by businesses who want to make profit, it really pushes being attractive um, and being well-dressed and having appearance and having um, good fashion sense. I don't want people to be judged on their appearance. It frustrates me in life, um, but I also think it's very natural to judge people on their appearance, you know. We're driven by sexual urges and we're driven um, by the desire to reproduce. So we're driven by attraction. Um, and, we, you know, we look at... Men look at women and they want they assess based on physical appearance whether um, the woman is uh, suitable to bear a child um, and, um, to, to, and whether the woman is healthy and fit and is likely going to live a long life uh, and whether the woman uh, looks after her health and, and makes clever decisions. And we assess all this by viewing a person. Uh, and this is like a natural instinctual thing. to We assess people uh, and we form judgments of them. And I said this in my video about judgment. And, and we, that's what we've got to work with when we're looking at someone. You, know, you can't look at someone and read their mind and, and know their personal life story uh, and know where they're coming from and know the decisions they've made. You can only look at a stranger in the street and form a judgment off what you see right in front of you because that's all you've got to work with. So I think it is very natural to form superficial judgments of people because you're only presented with so much information and that is what you see of the person. And if you see someone who's messy and derelict um, and looks like and, and, and has scars and scabs all over them and does, looks like they don't bathe, you'll probably make an assessment that they're um, a poor decision maker um, and not responsible. Uh, and these are all subconscious assessments that we make when we see people. But really, I try to not be superficial like that and not judge a person based off what fashion they're wearing or the quality of their clothing or whether their clothing is presentable. I try to say, who is this person and what were their dreams and what did they want in life and who did they want to be um, and if they don't seem to be in the best position uh, I ask why have they ended up in this bad position um, but I really don't like this thing um, where where people's character and their quality of and what quality a person is is assessed by um, the style of clothing they wear or what quality of clothing they wear and we say oh this person is of poor character because they're not wearing presentable clothing. You know, I understand being professional and people want to be professional, but I really believe in making deeper assessments of people than what clothing they're wearing. Um, and to say that somebody is incompetent or irresponsible or incapable because they appear haggard, that's not a fair, fair way to judge a person. Um, but I really think a lot of people are prone to making these very immediate superficial assessments of other people based on clothing uh, and I want people to learn to look past physical appearance and to be more humanist um, and to look at a human being as a person who was once a child and had dreams and wanted to be someone in life uh, and to understand that their life probably hasn't worked out the way they wanted and they probably didn't want to end up in whatever junky heroin addict position they're in. You know, I view all human beings as I understand that all human beings were once children with dreams of being rock stars and artists and everybody wanted those things and everybody wanted um, to live a good life and then life falls apart for various reasons. But I think we are naturally prone to making superficial quick assessments of people and this is a bit of a reiteration on my video about judgment. Um, I think it's natural to make these assessments because that's all we're presented with. Um, but our society definitely leans too heavily on um, what clothing a person is wearing and it bothers me. And it's why I wear tracksuit pants and a jumper every day because fuck your brands. You know, I'm not going to dress up for you. You know, you, I'm not going to dress up for you. I like wearing tracksuit pants um, and a jumper. Uh, and I'm not going to wear your brand names and your $100 sh uh, shirts and, your, and all that. No, that's all just capitalism. Um, and consumerism and superficiality. You know, my view of clothing is the purpose of clothing is two things. The purpose of clothing is to protect us from the weather 
Uh, so that is to say clothing is to keep us warm so we're not freezing cold. And clothing is to shield our naked bodies because people view it as inappropriate to walk around naked all the time. Um, but, you know, some people think we should all be naked. Um, why can't we all be naked all the time? You know, Is the human body something to be afraid of? Um, why can't we all be naked all the time and just walk around naked like um like like you know like the aliens do and how they're depicted in pop culture um but you know so many people will make an immediate assessment based on clothing and fashion uh, and there's so much emphasis in our consumerist society on wearing cool brands and popular brands um and women are assessed based on whether they're physically attractive, whether they're skinny, uh, and you know, overweight women will be bullied, and overweight men will be bullied and picked on. Um, you know, it's terrible. It's terrible um, dehumanizing, superficial way that we judge people and we view people. So again, it's a bit of a reiteration on my video on judgment, but I think the way we, our culture and our society, assesses uh, the character of a person. And whether a person deserves to be treated well and with respect um, is very bad. It's a very superficial way that we decide to award people status based on um, fashion sense and clothing and whether they have a nice car uh, and whether they have a mansion. You know, this is what we afford status to people based on these superficial things instead of thinking about who is the human being, are they a nice human being, are they good to people, are they charitable, do they want the best for others. Now, these are the things that I respect. Um, I afford status of, of respect to people who treat others right, but so many people afford status of respect to people based on clothing and fashion and brands and how much um, wealth they have. So I do think we live in a very superficial society and I'd like to see our society be a bit more deep and complex and humanist in how we view people. Um, and that's uh, and, and I think we're, we're geared that way naturally, unfortunately, because uh, you know, at the end of the day, what we want is to survive in this natural system, which is a fight for survival. So we, we praise people who are good at surviving uh, and who can display through their uh, through their physical strength and through their uh, wealth that they have the means to survive in this rat race because that's what nature is at the end of the day. It's a brutal fight for survival and the most competitive animal comes out on top. So it all comes down to competition. Uh, and this is why I've rejected communist thinking again. Because communism says that capitalism creates competition and superficiality. No, it doesn't. Nature creates cap competition and superficiality. That is the way the natural world works. Um, but I believe in humanity moving towards a higher level of thinking where we're more humanist and more compassionate and less superficial, where we don't dismiss people because they're poorly presented or because they don't wear the nicest clothes. And I think a lot about how people judge the homeless and how they judge people they see in the street who are on ice and like heroin addicts and people in the street who just aren't in a state of mind um, to present well. And people dismiss people like that and they treat them terribly. And people who are on ice get treated terribly. You know, ice addiction is um, a medical condition and people who are drug addicts are suffering uh, and they deserve to be treated with respect just as much as other people. And those gronk people you see in the street who pick up bumpers and just look terrible and have torn clothes um, and are messy and look like they don't shower. Yeah, you know, it is a bit revolting, but those people are human beings as well and they were children once and they had dreams uh, and they had goals and you've got to be a bit more empathetic and compassionate and a bit more deeper in your thinking. So again, it's a bit of reiteration on my video on judgment, but just to emphasize this is a super superficial society where we make um, very harsh assessments of people based on very shallow things and very shallow aspects of who they are as human beings. And it's why I intentionally just, just wear tracksuit pants and jumper all the time because I don't care what you think of me and I'm not going to do anything to impress you. I like me just how I am. Uh, and if you want to judge me, you can ask me who I am and you can ask me what my goals are and you can ask me what I think instead of just looking at me and forming a superficial assessment of who I am as a human being. You know, I'm a humanist, so I believe in treating people with respect and I believe that people are innately deserving of being treated with dignity and respect uh, as it, because they are a human being and because they live, because I value life and I believe all life has value and all life deserves respect. Um, 
So there's some thoughts about, again, judgment, as I said in my video on judgment, and about how superficial and consumerist our society is. So drop a comment in the comment section about whether you think our society is superficial and a consumerist engine designed to um, create profit for the ruling class, basically.